Hey guys, it's Monday night. I just got home from work. We're going to head out to Tokyo Central, a Japanese market. We're going to pick up some groceries and some snacks and some uh, sashimi for dinner. And when we get back, we'll show you exactly what we got. Hey everyone, we just got back from Tokyo Central and we have a bunch of groceries, way more than we thought we were going to pick up because we were trying to keep it minimal but we go crazy in that store every single time. So let me go ahead and show you everything that we got. And we picked up some sashimi to have for dinner tonight because we knew we would be running around. Okay, so this is pretty much everything that we got tonight. And to start off, I picked up this no um, Japanese teriyaki seasoning. I've never tried this, but I like a lot of their products. So I'm going to think I'm going to do some like teriyaki chicken and maybe even try to do it in the crock pot for a quick and easy dinner. And then I got a pack of this Chinese egg flour soup. I know this is a Chinese dish, but we really like these things and the market sells it. And one more Chinese dish would be this. Um, Chinese Mabu Tofu, so you add like a ground meat and tofu to it, so I picked up a medium firm tofu. Um, I have a box of golden curry, and this we cook with ground beef usually and veggies and serve it over rice. We picked up some shiitake mushrooms, and these are dried. We picked up Spam to do some Spam misubi. We picked up two types of seaweed or nori. This one's shredded. And then this one is in the like little slices that you can snack on or make sushi or or not make sushi but eat it with fish and rice. And then let's see. So I got some bulldog vegetable sauces for Crotoke. And we picked up two frozen kind. This is a vegetable kind and this is a curry kind. And then we picked up some kimchi. Some pickled, I think these are just like pickled cucumbers. Brandon loves these. And then some furikake rice seasoning, and this is a kimchi flavor. Some sesame oil, it's like hot and spicy kind. We love that. And then we picked up, we picked up some of this. This is like basically like a Gatorade or like something similar. Tastes like Gatorade, but watered down, I guess. And it's called Picari Sweat, I believe. That's how you'd pronounce that. Then we picked up this melon soda because we love melon soda. Just like when we were in Japan and everyone was making fun of us for drinking them because only the children drink them. And then we got this Ramun. Is that how you say it? I'm not, I don't know. Ramun. It has a little dash over the E. Beats me, but it's great. Ramune. I don't know. But this is like carbonated soda and it's got it's a glass bottle and it has like the little marble in it. And then for snacks, and we might try some of these snacks tonight in this vlog so you guys can see. But we got these. These are like little um sembe like crackers and they have like a cheese and an almond on them. And then we got these rice candies that I used to grow up eating and love these. And then we got these like sembe and I feel like my grandma used to always eat these ones. I hope I got the right ones, but there's like sweet ones or just regular ones. And then Brandon got his favorite snack ever and it's dried squid. <laughs> and then he also loves these red bean paste or red bean filled little cakes. And my grandma loved those too, so I think that's where he got started on them. And then we picked up some shrimp chips and I used to always eat these as a child. We picked up some matcha pocky. Some cookies and cream pocky, and then some fruit flavored mochi. These are like fruit flavored and filled. They have like bean paste in them, but the bean paste is also fruit flavored, and they are mango, peach, and pineapple. We also picked up our favorite rice, and this is the Nishiki rice, and our favorite Japanese beer, Asahi. We like love how dry Japanese beers are. And then Brandon picked up these naughty little soup bowls for work, right? Yeah. I think he takes some of these to work. And this one is a Japanese 
This one is a Japanese ramen. What is it, like spicy or? I think it's spicy. I can't tell. I don't think he knows either, but it looks like it would be spicy. And then this is like a big ramen. Super big. Tonkatsu flavor. Oh, that sounds good. And then he got a cup noodle sesame chicken and a cup noodle teriyaki chicken. I don't think I've tried those. And then from the fresh, like, I guess deli there, we picked up some seasoned squid, some magado tuna sashimi, two rice, I didn't even see you grab any of this, but two rice bowls, and one of them looks like a pickled seaweed or something, or a seaweed, and this one looks like salmon. And then we got a California veggie roll, which is like wrapped in, it looks like soy paper. And it's got a bunch of veggies in it. And then we picked up tuna sashimi and some single rolls. And this one looks like octopus, albacore, and what is this one? Um, I think that one's tuna too. So yeah, another albacore. So I went ahead and cut up all of the tuna and the salmon and then we have our like single sushis right here that we got and then we have our little veggie roll some of the pickled cucumbers some squid seasoned squid mm -hmm. that's pretty good what do you think <clears throat> let me go ahead and eat mm -hmm. So we were so starving that we scarfed that down and didn't even want to talk about it or during it. We were so hungry. We spared you from us uh, shoving food in our faces. So yeah, fun. and we're enjoying some asahi. Super dry. Yeah. And now we're going to enjoy a little bit of snacks and just thought we would do it while vlogging. Do you want to try these first? <clears throat> So these are a sembe cracker, so like a rice cracker, and they have bonito extract <clears throat> in them. So they've got like a little, I just think they're kind of salty. I feel like these things barely have a fish taste. I like it. I like the saltiness. I guess when I think about mm. it, I can tell. But not really. They're just really good. It's really good. I like it. Okay. What do you want to try next? <clears throat> well, I'm going to open my shut up. Okay. Show them how you do it. So it's mm -hmm. a glass bottle. And it has a marble in the cap right now. That's a marble. And you use this little thing. And you push <clears throat> the marble in. And then it stays in this little area. Basically, when you drink it, you have the marble stop in this little groove area. What's the purpose? <laughs> I'm not sure, but... Yeah. <clears throat> we'll find out and we'll tell you later. It basically allows you to drink. And then I guess if maybe you're going to spill it, the marble would stop it. I don't mm -hmm. really know what the purpose is, but... Besides the fact that it's cool. I love those. There we go. Okay, so he finally did it. Sorry to worry me. Let me smell it. Yeah, oh, it smells good. Mm, they make a candy that flavor, and it's <clears throat> so good. The candy Cheers. even like fizzles, I think. Okay. How is mm. it? <clears throat> it's really good. It's got like a bubblegum kind of flavor to it. Bubba? Bubblegum. Oh, okay. They said bubblegum. Bubblegum kind of flavor to it. No, that's that's how I would describe it. Bubble. True. Bubble. Bubble gum. It does. And sugar. Okay, so next we're gonna try <clears throat> these shrimp chips. And I used to eat these as a kid, but then <laughs> with, with friends we would go get them with the teenagers and they would think I was crazy. Okay, so mm. I don't know if people have tried all these things because I'm so familiar to them. Mm. Or if they're like, yeah, well, I eat all those all the time. It's good. The shrimp flavor kicks in at the end. Oh my gosh, no way. Yeah. Because at first I was going to say it's pretty mild. You don't taste the shrimp, but... Okay, I guess. But I think it's mild overall. No? 
It's mild, even a mild shrimp. It's good though. <clears throat> While Mel is uh, snacking on her shrimp chip, she's gonna have a piece of squid, <clears throat> dried squid. Pull a piece out. You gotta show the piece. I feel like very chewy. This sundae cracker and those shrimp chips are very good with Japanese beer. <clears throat> okay, what are we gonna try next? Cheese almond sundae rice crackers. I love these. My family in Japan introduced me to these, and I love them. I'm not supposed to have one. So you're gonna have to try it. So they look like this. I guess I open it. Show them yours. I'm not gonna have one because I'm not supposed to be really having dairy right now. So it's like a little senbei rice cracker. Has some cheese, Japanese cheese, and an almond. And that's really good. Those are really good. I'm super jealous. Next, we're gonna try a <clears throat> baked red bean cake. And they come in a pack like this. And these are one of my favorites. It's kind of like a, a dessert, slightly sweet. But the Japanese, they're, a lot of the stuff isn't sweet or sugary. No, and I feel like they're, well, they're like candy no. for children is <clears throat> out crazy. Yeah. But like their regular treats mm -hmm. are very mild and they're always made with like, you know, a fruit or something or yeah. like a red bean or I feel like they use. What were we having when we were in Kyoto? It was like a candied date, a candied date. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like they use things like that. So we finally got that open. And we wanted to just like sh share one. <clears throat> pretty full. Cool. Yeah. So this is the little cake wrapped up in another little wrapper. It looks like two miniature pancakes wedged together with two miniature pancakes and a little sandwich. With red bean. And then you can see like the red bean. Okay, I can't yeah. really open it. It's like gonna rip. You're gonna have to break it in half. It's so soft. Okay, so. There you go. So it's got red bean paste. And they're like little cakes. I like them. But he loves them. Next we're gonna have little like candy mochis and they are filled with red bean paste and the red bean paste is like fruit flavored also or not also that's what's fruit flavored the things are just the mochis just died i think so they are mango peach and pineapple which one do you want to try <clears throat> this one he's trying the mango <clears throat> and I'm gonna do the peach. And mine's pink. Mm. What? <clears throat> yeah. No, I was just just making sure. Okay. These are actually my favorite. <laughs> no, really, they are. These make you feel like a kid. So that's a red bean paste, and it is fruit flavored. So this is a good example of where like Japanese people will use something like red bean paste or candy dates or something like that in their candy. Next we are going to be trying, or actually Brandon's going to try it. I've had it before but there's dairy in it and I'm dairy free right now. He's going to be trying this Pocky and they are cookies and cream. <coughs> So jealous, once again. Oh, it's so good. <clears throat> Those Sorry. are really good. Sorry, Mel. <laughs> Whatever. Really good I picked out my flavors. favorite flavors, and then I come home and realize I'm still dairy-free, and I picked out these two. A couple months. So now Brandon's gonna try 
the matcha, which is green tea flavored coffee. Mm. Mm. Okay, it smells like matcha, so good. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Really good, huh? Yeah. I think these are better than green tea Kit Kats, mm. for sure. Okay, so next we're gonna be trying these Botan rice candies. And they always come with a little sticker. Obviously these are a ch children's candy. And once you get them out of their first wrapper, it's this little candy and it's got like a little wrapper still, but it's rice paper and you just eat it. These are one of my favorites. <clears throat> Didn't you used to have those as a kid? As a, as a kid? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So these are still a favorite. Next we're going to be trying, I don't know if it's showing, a melon. Ramu bottle and it's got a picture of one of Brandon's like glass bottles, but it's just like the bigger portion I think and it's in this aluminum bottle and it's a melon flavor and apparently only children drink this in Japan <clears throat> <laughs> Because we got made fun of This reminds me of being a kid Wow Definitely sugar. A sugary little drink right there. Next we have, I think you say it as Pocari Sweat, as appealing as that sounds. And it's ion supply drink. So I feel like it's like a Gatorade. And it basically tastes like a watered down Gatorade. You ever had this? No, I don't think so. So it's got like electrolytes. <clears throat> Smells like a watered down Gatorade. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Tastes like a watered down Gatorade. Yeah. Smells like it too. <clears throat> wow. What? It's interesting. Really? Yeah. <laughs> That's interesting. <laughs> it tastes exactly like a watered down Gatorade. <laughs> No, maybe one that's been sitting out a couple days or something. <laughs> okay, so he's not a fan of that. So that does it for our Japanese snacks from Tokyo Central. Mm -hmm. I hope you liked this video. If you want to see us try anything weird, comment below. If you are from Japan and you're watching this, comment below because we want to meet you. Yeah. <laughs> and what else? Yeah, so basically, we're pretty down to try weirder things in our next video, but basically, we bought this stuff because we like it. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Give this a thumbs up, and uh, don't forget to subscribe.